Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am at Case of the Mob Cave. Welcome to Base Race, my episode zero, where we're going to be going over the details for this month. This month, of course, is nature. Um, first off, you won't be seeing me in the top right hand corner as usual, uh, because I'm, I'm really not feeling very well. <laughs> and so I'm going to be trying to muddle through this as efficiently as possible. Um, so yes, I, yeah, I, I, I've, I've just released the, the actual, uh, base race. Um, and I've decided that I should really do the episode zero as soon as possible so you guys can watch it before you get started. Um, right. So, firstly, we're in, uh, Bathard space. I was gonna say Count Battinger's base, but, uh, of course, Bathard popped the cork of this vintage wine bottle for February. And, uh, yeah, so we're in the giant champagne bottle. Huzzah! We can celebrate this month by coming back to the base and having lots of wine. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. Um, but it's a fantastic base, and you should really go and check out the other ones. They're all in the forum, as usual. Um, right. So, over to the uh, the item list. As you'll see, I've actually changed the clay block, so it's much lighter, and now you can see dark blocks against it, like the coal. Isn't that nice? Um, yeah, so uh, we're going to have a quick look at the items. I'd say this is a moderate month, once again. Um, it's because it's a nature theme, there's so much to do on the surface, like tons to do on the surface and barely anything kind of to do underneath, uh, underground. So these are spruce leaves. We need to buy and find spruce. Uh, that's an acacia. So we need to find savannah. That's dark oak. So we need to find dark oak. Um, th this is a cactus. So you need to find the desert. This is a blue orchid, which means you need to find a swamp. And these are lily pads, so you probably need to find a swamp for that as well. Uh, there's also a melon, which means you either need to find an abandoned mine or a jungle. But of course, you need to find a jungle to get these jungle doors. Um, and you also need to uh, get lots of sugarcane and hunt some cows and stuff for that. Also, possibly hunting some um, some skeletons. So yeah, tons to do on the surface. But we've also got an enchanting table, which means you need to go down to get the diamonds. That's five diamonds in total, because you need three to get the pick to get the obsidian. Um, so yeah, tons to do on the surface, a little bit to do on, on underground, but you do need to find the diamonds, which can always cause problems. So yeah, again, moderate, yeah, moderately difficult, um, but not, not overly so. You don't have to go to the nether, you don't have to find tons underground and stuff. So yeah, it, sh it should be good. Right, let's take myself and... Actually, no, before I do that, there is no cash this month. Um, after last month's episode zero, I was asking about the cash, and it seemed that no one really used it. I like I, 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 I like the idea of it, but if no one's using it, then I'm not going to bother with it. Um, and that seemed everyone's take on it, really. Um, so if you're going to be building in survival mode, which I don't think anyone is, but if you do want to do that, then you will have to get your items from creative mode and then change yourself back to uh, game mode zero, to survival mode. But there you go. Right, let's go underground. Like that. All right, here we are. So, normal choice. You can choose to do both stages or just the race stage or the base stage only. Now you get to choose between the sandstone and the bone block over there, or the stone bricks and the lapis block. All right, so that means that the sandstone interchangeable with the stone bricks because you're allowed to use any type or color. So do you want to use any type of sandstone or do you want to use any type of bricks? And then of course you've got two different, very different just normal blocks really. So you've got the bone blocks which you need to hunt skellies for, or the lapis blocks that you need to find the lapis for. Obviously you've got the the nicely toned bone blocks, but you've also got the uh, the very uh, regal and, and yeah, nice blue, royal blue of the lapis blocks. So you've got to decide what you want to build and I guess what you want to uh, try and collect. Now, you can leave now, but I would say I I suggest that you stay to see what these are because I've got a couple of little pointers and stuff that I want to say. So I'm going to turn around now. If you don't want to see it, then you haven't heeded my warning. <laughs> you should want to see it, but uh, you can leave now. So goodbye. Goodbye. I'll break everything. <laughs> um, right. 
You know what's handy? My friend Trinket the bear. My friend Trinket? My friend Trinket the bear. There you go. <laughs> All these friendly, huggable creepers. Of course. And having speedy pigs around. <laughs> Why would that be useful? But yeah, th these are all yep. Yeah, these are all handy things. Um, not going to say anything about these. However, I will say that um, I think with every single one of these choices, I have a tip, a little message, a little hint of some sort that comes up with each of them. Because, um, like in the last few months, there have been some ones, some some choices that haven't been entirely clear. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's the case that I don't want them to be entirely clear, but um, I do want these to be used so and used correctly. So I've got little tips just to help people figure out what, what they do and stuff. You know what's a pain in the neck? The overgrowth, the swarms of bats, and this annoying smelly mule. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so once again... Like last time I went for kind of bothersome and I've gone down that route again. Um, I would say like one of these is probably more dangerous than the others. But in general, all of them are just kind of things to hold you up and get in the way. Um, they're, they're not like really deadly things. Um, but yeah, I now the thing is I really wanted to say was we i i've i've tried my best like with the swarms of bats i've tried my best to like um cap them to so the swarms don't get too large and lag things out um but if you feel that lag could be an issue on your setup if your if your setup is a little bit underpowered then you may want to steer away from the over overgrowth and the swarms of bats. That said, I my computer handles it, handles it completely fine. I've I've tested it on Cherry's computer and it seems to handle it completely fine. The only thing was when Ol was playing it, um, or you know testing things out with me from his computer, uh, whilst I was running the server on LAN. He was getting a little bit of jitteriness with the um, the overgrowth and maybe a little bit of jitteriness with the bats as well, We're only when they, the, the swarms were intense. Um, but he, uh, well, he hasn't played or, you know, like um, tuned Minecraft in a long time and he wasn't running Optifine, um, which everyone everyone these days should be running Optifine. Really, it, it it just it makes Minecraft run smooth. So Optifine is a big big thing that you should have if you don't have it. Anyway, um, I think these should work fine. I do think these should work fine, um, without too much jitteriness or you know lag or anything. But if you if you think that your computer is a little bit underpowered or, or susceptible to lag, then maybe go with the mule. I'm not trying to steer you steer you away from them because I think they're all fantastic. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll feel that it, it's fine. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? That's all I wanted to say about those. Um, I'm not really going to tell you about what any of them do, other than the fact that swarms of bats has something to do with swarms of bats. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I've really said so far. Let's go in here. Once again, this month's base race comes with a mini sound pack. Um, you will only hear the sounds apart from when pressing this button, uh, when, if you're using, if you're a, a patron, if you're going with the Patreon reward. Um, so don't worry if you don't hear anything, if you if you don't choose the, uh, the patron reward. Um, but yeah, you click this and you should hear my voice. Welcome to Base Race. Like that. And um, yeah, it gives you the link right there. Click here to get the resource back. So just make sure that you've got it. If you don't hear the, my, my, sultry tones, then uh, click that link and download the pack and put it in. Right, so the moment we've all been waiting for, the Patreon reward is... Wow. Eggy! Patreon, re Patreon reward is Eggy. Um, I've shown you how to do this twice. You hit the button, it gives you a book and a link. 
the the link goes to the Patreon um place, the Patreon our Patreon uh, page, where you can get the password. You then copy and paste the password directly into the book and click done. You click done, not sign. You click done, and you don't paste it into chat. You put it into the book, into the book, and click done. Okay, and then it happens, and the Patreon reward is eggy. <laughs> Not going to tell you what that means, but I really think this is going to add something to the race. As always, I will mention that the Patreon reward does not give you an advantage. That's not the kind of thing that I go for. Last month, I it was a, a whacking stick that created effects when you hit things with it. It actually did about as much damage as a diamond sword. Not diamond sword, a iron sword. Maybe. But it was really slow to wind up. You know, like he had, his attack speed was really low. It was uh, lower than an iron axe, for example. So all in all, it was probably about as useful as a stone sword. Um, so it really wasn't giving any advantage. Um, again, this will not give an advantage, but I really think it's, it's, it's it'll add something to the experience. It'll add something to the viewership and it's just... Yeah, it's good. Or well, not viewership. The 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 viewing of it. It it it, it adds something, right? <laughs> it adds something. Anyway, yeah, that's all I've got to say. So I really hope you do enjoy this um, base race. I really need to go because my voice is failing me. Um, it's it's really quite hurting. Hurting. <laughs> um, and hopefully next time I make a video, you will see me in the top corner again, and I'll be well again. But I do hope you enjoy this month. Nature. Thank you very much for watching. I've been a case, and I'll see you next time. Bye.